Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel, welcome back to Joe Media. I'm really happy to be back. <laughs> I'm sorry if if uh, I was uh, if I was missed <laughs> if I was missing in the in the last few uh, weeks. However, I've been facing a lot of work and a lot of projects that are consuming all my time. However, I guess that today I'm gonna bring you an interesting, uh, very interesting topic and something that you might be interested and it is related to visual testing and um, how we can we compare how how we can compare uh, images to see if a website uh, has some changes based on a base image and against the uh, actual image so today we're gonna use this library that is free for use um, this is the, the creator I'm not sure how I can pronounce it but it is like paid key tricky <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm saying wrong that, that name but um, I highly recommend this library since I, I, I'm working with 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 a tool and I'm honestly honestly very happy with it if you have some kind of issue using it you can come here and report an issue and he's very aware of it and he has a very fast response time from my perspective so today we're gonna see how it works um, I just wanna let you know that I have a repository uh, ready to be uh, cloned uh, you can download the code that all the code that you're gonna see in this video just cloning the the, the repo you're gonna see the the, um, the URL and the information in the description of this video right um, basically we're gonna um, use Google as example uh, we're gonna see how the li library works uh, using Google using or making some search and let's see how it works basically we we just need to get node.js installed as we have seen in the last videos to get um, test cafe working if you clone this repository you will see that it doesn't have the um, node modules folder so you just have to come to the terminal um, console uh, run npm install and you're gonna get all the node, mo node modules installed and it is gonna be ready for uh, use uh, and for your tests right so basically we have i i have these folders here and i'm gonna, I'm gonna start um, reviewing the visual testing.js all right this um visual testing.js contains all the code that we need to to get this uh, library working as expected we just need to uh, call take snapshots from the library um, which is a dependent a dependency uh, in the package to that json i'm sorry and uh, basically that's the way that how we call the, the library uh, for our, all the tests that we have in in this particular feature so we're gonna land or we're gonna review the google.com page and the first test is just taking a snapshot of the of that uh, particular page it is gonna come here it is gonna take a snapshot of this uh, particular window and uh, it's gonna save it in in a particular location that i can define actually after that i have um this second test which is named google testing after search dash bar one what it means it is a kind of variation number one where i want to go to google type john doe in the um, search bar and after that i, I just click on uh, this button to uh, look for results right basically it clicks on it and after that it is gonna resize the window to this particular breakpoint size uh, i just decided to have this number as height and sorry as width and this number as height and wait for four seconds it is just to st stabilize the screenshot they have enough time to or actually to get a st stable um snapshot since it might take some time to render the html page in this particular case as you might notice it this um take a snapshot has a, a small difference if we compare it with the, the first one it has some options that we may want to 
change or we we can play with it uh, in the variety of ways that we want if you see here we have different options that you might look up uh, i just want to point out some some of them the first one is the test name or actually the folder name where the screenshots uh, are gonna be saved you can specify here uh, the name of the screenshots just adding strings to uh, have a kind of a specific names if you don't specify it it is gonna take the test name as the full name for the folder all right um, in this particular case I just want uh, a particular screenshot of the viewport for example in this case it's gonna take a screenshot of this uh, viewport um, view however there is another options to, to get all the view of the of the page I mean for example if if we come here and put this at 50% <laughs> actually I can't but the idea is to get this completely to get a, a full screenshot of the full page so this is the way that we can accomplish it you just have to come here and uh, change the option to true in this case it is false and that's why I call this test variation number two or bar two because we're gonna see two different scenarios kind of the same but the result is gonna be different um, to do that uh, and to make that accomplish in the package.json I have two different scripts the first one is test uh, base um, which is gonna contain as always the browser where I want to uh, take the snapshots in this particular case where I want to run uh, the test cases and the fixture in itself um, then there is the route or the path where all the visual or actually the JS files uh, that we want to run in this particular case I just have visual testing.js inside tests so that's the way I defined it and after that I define the path or this um, yes the source where, where we are gonna save all the screenshots in this particular case with dash s and the path we're gonna uh, define where we want to store them and after that I have this command which is take snapshot base for base images and after that we have the take snapshots actual for actual images so basically that's the command and as always we just have to come here run npm npm run in the first case test base and it is gonna take this the space the screenshots um, and it is gonna save them on the the path that we have defined before so that's it after that we have after we have the base the screenshots done I have another a script over here which is actual as you can see here and it is gonna take the actual images all right as you may see here um, and a real example I have already executed this um, so I just wanted to just wanted to show you the final results and stuff for example for Google testing which was the first test you can see that it is taken uh, an interesting result about how Google looks <laughs> it takes but base in actual and apparently it doesn't have any kind of difference right so in, in the final report we might be able to get a zero zero percent of differences so I guess that that's the final result that we can may expect mm. and the variation number one which was the um, non full page version as you might remember you can see that we have found uh, a difference over here so I might hope that um, in the final report we can get uh, a percentage difference um, higher than 0% for sure and we we were gonna see how the report prints out this difference all right let me just continue with the next variation which is variation number two and as you can see here we also have some kind of difference for example with Google in the base image it has in the third um, search John Doe and I guess that in the actual image in the third search it says sin nombre in, in Spanish 
<laughs> so it might it obviously uh, is a kind of dynamic content that it is uh, generally changing so I, I guess that in that particular execution it, it displays a different result so I hope that in the final um, report in the final uh, report yes actually uh, we can f see um, the difference displayed in a in a good way to, to see the difference and report them if, if we need to mm, all right I guess that once we have the actual and the base images taken just to continue uh, the flow we have this command over here which is how we can get a report of the differences I'm going to show you how this works in this particular case um, we are going to use mpx uh, with npn it is not working I guess that is uh, kind of something that the library has to include but right now it works with mpx right actually as you might see here you need to use mpx um, what what um, this command says how is the structure of this command basically just have to this line over here test cafe dash blink dash diff is like a keyword that we have to respect however this next to uh, values or next to paths are totally customizable. So <clears throat> in this case, I have the route where all my screenshots or snapshots are taken. And in this other path is the way or the path where I want to store the um, reports. So basically, that's basically this the different paths and how they work how they work i'm sorry and after that it is um uh, part of the command to just compare base against actual and you can specify the amount of percentage allowed you to see if if it is a, a an expected or an acceptable difference or if uh, if it is not so let me see let me show you how how the report is printed out and as you can see here this is the way that we can see the difference let me just close these tabs and for the first uh, test case with which was google testing you may see here that there is no difference as we expected we have two different ways to see the differences let me show you the the first variation which was a uh, the non-full version a uh, non-full page version i'm uh, sorry so you may see here it has or it marks out the the difference in this um, with this button open diff however there is another uh, way to see the differences and compare them in is with this button over here so you can he come here and actually see the difference sets of the image so it, it it is helpful from my from my point of view and it is a good library from that perspective and then I have the another variation which was Google testing after search variation 2 and you can see here that there are a lot of um, differences and I guess that it is based on the amount of content of uh, that Google or, or actually the, the the dynamic environment that it has however if you have uh, an static site or actually some uh, expected scenarios that you want to compare uh, constantly it is an excellent uh, approach or an excellent excellent tool uh, to provide some more value for your automation team i guess and using test cafe and this library you can get amazing results so i just wanted to show you how this works how you can get um, a visual testing uh, or visual differences uh, show up in an excellent report using test cafe and test cafe blink diff library so i hope i really hope that you like this video um please let me know in comments if you liked it let me know if you want to see more um, videos like this and subscribe and, and let it like if you can so thank you very much just i'll see you soon goodbye